Hi, I'm Mark Tewart with Tewart's Tidbits, and today I want to talk to you about recency and relevancy. Those are two prime examples of what I call persuasion. And if you're going to sell something, you have to be able to persuade people. And persuading people is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's helping to persuade people to find a solution to their problem. Now, let's talk about recency. If you're the last person that they're talking to about the product or service that they're getting ready to buy, if you're the last one, they're going to compare you versus somebody else. So if you're not going to be last, then you better have relevancy and that means you better have been very good at explaining your story, facts tell, stories sell, and your SDP, your specific defining proposition. What makes you better? What makes your uh, business better? And what makes your product better? And what makes it very distinctive about the way that you've delivered that? Have you given some emotion, enthusiasm, some humor in the way that you're delivering what it is you're trying to deliver? So recency and relevancy they will always compare to the most recent presentation or person they met with, and they're always going to compare to who they thought was the most relevant. All of these things come from you. You're the salesperson. Never discount the idea that it's about you. Do not blame price. Do not blame facilities. Do not blame all the things that you could blame. It's generally going to come down to you. You will lose some deals on price, but it's only 10% of the time, even though you may think at times it's 50 or 60 or more. It's just not. It boils down to you, the salesperson. I'm Mark Tewart with Tewart's Tidbits, and I want you to check out uh, my website at Tewart.com if you'd like. Also, follow me on Twitter at Mark Tewart, and call me anytime you like at 888 2 Thanks a lot, and good selling.